Hi everyone, this is Bee Swarm Simulator game on Roblox and this is part 17. Okay, finally I have enough money to buy my next egg, so let's do it. Okay, leave the shop. Let's go see. Yes, so I got an ordinary bee. Let's try to use the royal jelly. Transform it. Let's try to see if I can get a new kind. I have bubble bee already. Brave, beasty, cool. Lion bee? Should I keep? Another Keep lion bee? Lion bee. It's the best legendary for damage. Okay, because I already have one, but... But it does a ton of damage. Okay, and what does it eat? Blueberries? Because it's blue, no? No, that's true. That means it's one. I think it eats... Sunflower seeds? Pineapple. He loves pineapples. So let's see if I can get it to be gifted. Should yeah, I? Try, try. Okay, until gifted. gifted lime, yes. it would be no, it did not become gifted, but it leveled up to level seven, which is still good. A gifted, a gifted lime would deal like I'd say damage, maybe. It'd be really good. Now let's go harvest my container from the spider field. I am pretty sure it's ready now. Let's take a look. Ticket planter, 100%. So, harvest the ticket planter. And I got lots of, I don't know, some sort of thing. Alright, so did I complete my quest there I had? Something for the tickets? Let's take a look. Quests. Yeah, I completed the quest for the dapper bear, so let's go talk to him. Here we go. Planter growth is slow, but steady and constant. Kinda like me and my shop, and you, and your Bequip case. Every time you complete two of my quests, I'll expand your case with a Bequip case slot. Each one allows you to equip an additional bee with a Bequip. Every time you complete five of my quests, my shop will expand to offer more Bequips at once. The Bequip the beak whips I have in stock constantly cycle, so you gotta check in periodically. The ones I have in stock now aren't the best quality, but they aren't super rare. But as you complete more of my quests, my inventory will improve. For now, take this ticket planter, I do appreciate the help. Let's talk to him again. My shop is a reflection of myself, full of stuff that's swayed me, caught my eye. Whenever I feel stagnant, like I'm just roaming around without direction, I try to seek motivation in unexpected places. Over the years, I found it in all kinds of things, like little knickknacks from around the world, outdated planter pots, stuff other people might overlook or even toss into the trash. With an open mind and observant eye, the most peculiar things can inspire you. But when I am really stuck in a rut, there's always motivating nectar. Motivating Nectar grants bonus Blue Pollen Convert Rate and Bee Ability Rate. Bee Ability Rate makes your bees spawn their ability tokens more often. You can collect Motivating Nectar from planters in the mushroom, spider, stump, and rose fields. 
For this next quest, give Motivating Nectar a try for yourself. It will perk you and your bees right up. Okay, let's take a look. So, what do I need to do? Collect 2 hours of Motivating Nectar. Collect 4 million pollen from the spider field. Collect 25 tokens from planters in the mushroom field. Collect 25 tokens from planters in the spider field. And collect 10 Glitterberry tokens. Alright, so let's go place a planter in the spider field, I guess. goes the planter. It will come back later when it's at 100%. Time to talk to the brown bear. Welcome back. You ready for a new quest? Complete it and I'll give you some royal jelly and a ticket. You've completed 16 of my quests so far and every new quest becomes a bit more challenging. Check your quest menu to see what's up next. Let's take a peek. So we have to collect pollen from the pineapple patch and the strawberry field. Alrighty, let's get going. Once again, I finished the science bear quest. Let's see what he has to say this time. Fascinating. So there are at least 21 types of bees. Oh, and some insightful statistics on the gains yielded from badge bonuses. By studying these, I believe I can unlock some potential in your swarm. Hmm, thinking, aha, uh -huh, there we go. From here on out, your bees will be able to convert 25% more pollen to honey at a time. That brings the conversion efficiency bonus to 425%. As a bonus, I'd like you to have this some enzymes. Using these will allow you to instantly convert 10% of pollen to honey for 10 minutes. It also speeds up conversion rate by 1.25. Report back to me when you're ready to do more research. I may be a technologically savvy bear, but I'm no stranger to working the land. Here on the mountain, we live in a predominantly agrarian society. Our primary expert is honey, but we're also known for the quality of our fruits and seeds. While it's certainly possible to harvest berries and seeds from fields with old-fashioned gathering, it's much faster to tend to the magical sprouts that sometimes pop up. Collecting pollen from fields containing sprouts will cause the sprouts to grow. When they reach the maximum size, they pop scattering treats and other rewards all around the field. Working with others is essential to growing sprouts, especially the rarer ones. Be sure to split up when the sprouts pop so you can most optimally share their words. For our next experiment, I want to investigate sprout growth more closely. To start you off, I'm giving you a magic bean. Activate the magic bean while standing in a field and a sprout will immediately grow. I'm aware of the irony of a science bear dealing with magical items, by the way. They're not really magic, you know? Here is the full list of what you'll need, or I'll need. Collect 150 sprout tokens, collect 100 strawberry tokens, 100 pineapple tokens, and most importantly, discover 22 types of bees. Report back when your research is complete. Alright, so let's place the sprout here in the spider field. So where is my bean thingy? And Eric is going to help me and see if we can grow it. Five million, that's that might take a little while. Is it? Yeah. Hopefully we'll get some nice rewards. Yeah, it, it usually can be If it's a rare one. I got a green circle sticker from Commander B. 
Yes, he found a sticker for me. Thank you, Commander. We'll have to go back to the hive later on and see what it is. Okay, we're almost done with our sprout. Yay, let's collect our rewards, guys. Yeah. Collect it, collect it, Jake. Yeah. Me, Eric, and Jake worked so hard on this field. Trying to grow our sprout. Good work, team. Thank you. Thank you. And it looks like I got another badge. Let's take a look what kind it is. I'm guessing something with a spider field. Oh no, it's a goo badge. Nice. Okay, so for Polar Bear's quest, I only need to do one more thing, it's to defeat one more mantis, so let's do it right here. I am ready to talk to the Polar Bear again, I finished his quest, so let's see. That's all the ingredients I need. Okay, let me whip something up, chop chop, sizzle, a dash of honey, stir, all done, enjoy. Well, I'm always ready to eat. I'll be waiting when you're ready for more cooking. Hey there, you hungry? If you collect the ingredients, I'll cook us up something good. So good, it will permanently increase the maximum energy of your beast by 5%. I'll even throw in some honey for dessert. Check the quest menu to see our next recipe. Okay, where is it? And it is collecting pollen from the cactus field. Looks like I got another badge. Let's take a look. And it is the strawberry badge. Right now I am at the pineapple patch working on brown bear's quest. So I just need a bit more pollen and it's all done now. Look at that, I just found another sticker. It's a duck, so let's see if I can claim it. Awesome rubber duck. So I also got a green circle. I got TNT. I got um, Unit Leaf, I think it's that. Okay, so I'll have to go to my beehive at some point. Okay, let's keep going. And I think my planter is ready at the spider field. Let's defeat the spider and harvest. Awesome, the only thing is I only got 24 tokens and I really need 25 for my quest. So we might as well plant another planter here and see if I can get my extra token I need. I am on the way to the stump field. I will start working on my quest. I'm just wondering what that floating star is and that is a guiding star aura. I've never seen it before but it looks like it gives me extra capacity and extra pollen and there is our big snail. This is gonna be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time. Bye!